So now I have set up the series and I also have a circuit which we will be testing so you can see how to use the series. So the first thing you want to do is download on the computer the Devisoft X software. So on the website we go to support, Devisoft download and then you have the 64 bit for your uh, operating system. It is important to have the latest version of Devisoft X otherwise you may not be able to configure well the series. I have already downloaded the Devisoft X in the past, so I already have it ready. So now what you have to do is go to Devices and you can just go to here to Series XHS and click OK. And now once we go to Channel Setup, you can start setting up the channels. So I want to measure my ZVS circuit to make an example. So we will set the sample rate to 5 mega sample because it's not that fast and we click that channel 1 is used as I have connected the other probes and we set a range of 200 volts uh, so here the voltage won't be too high so now we can if we want we can add the FFT so you can do math add math FFT and I like increasing the lines as it gives a higher resolution okay now we can go to measure and here we have this graph so this graph it isn't necessarily the best so we can delete it and we can add our recorder with the AI1 which is the first channel and then a 2D graph for the FFT and we can have it like so now if we power up the ZVS we can start measuring. So for example, we can see the gate voltage of the MOSFETs and we see some voltage, but we don't really see it very well. So we can do freeze and we can see it more clearly. We can zoom in if we want. Also, we can click here to set the range to max. So we can see it better. And so this is the gate voltage of the MOSFETs. This isn't really the best gate voltage for a ZVS but it's good. Here we can also set our range as you want. You can set for example 20 volts and here minus 5. We can also see the FFT so if we look at for example the voltage in the capacitor bank we see that it is much higher. We freeze and we zoom in again and here we see a relatively nice sine wave and using the FFT we can see that there's a peak at 22 kilohertz and then there are some smaller peaks at 45 kilohertz and at 68 kilohertz. Last thing we can measure in this ZVS really is the output voltage at the low voltage side of the high current transformer and if I connect the probes well we can see that it's roughly like this. So there's a much smaller voltage and this is basically a very simple guide of how to use Devisoft X. That's it. So thank you for watching and I wish you a happy 2024.